Hi, people. This is Joe coming at you from Blight Manor, um, Detroit-ish. And this channel, this is my first YouTube video, and this channel is meant to be about feminism, lesbian stuff, food, um, and other fun stuff. Most of the time, my girlfriend Consuelo will be in the videos with me, but I just want to tell you my story today, um, real quick to get us started. So I was, I'm about 50 now, I'll be 50 in a couple months. I was a vegetarian for about eight years, which I believe led to my thyroid stopping working right, uh, losing my gallbladder, which sucked, uh, having constant acid reflux, couldn't lay down, no energy, like mm, afternoon plush, crash outs, um, anxiety. I had diagnosed neuropathy, you know, they poke the holes in your leg and take the skin out. Yeah, my nerves were disintegrating. I had arthritis in my neck. Um, I was a mess. And when I turned about 45, I started gaining a lot of weight. Even though I was doing about two hours on the treadmill every day and eating low fat like you're supposed to, right? Um, and before I go any further, I do want to say I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, a nurse, nothing, nothing of any kind. I'm just a geek who sits at a keyboard all day. So don't take anything I say as advice. But what I will do is link books from people who have done a ton of research, including doctors, um, and uh, podcasts and YouTube channels and blogs that cat, sorry, that um, that you can look at to see if you want to go on this journey that I went on and Consuelo went on. So in July of 2013. I woke up about 40 pounds heavier than I am now, and I had this rash on me. And I was like, that's it, that's it, that's enough, I'm done. So I started doing some research on my own because I said, whatever the medical establishment has been telling me is not working, and I'm on my way for metabolic syndrome or friggin' diabetes, and this is ridiculous. So I found keto. And so I eased into that and did that for about five years. And it was great. I dropped about 30 pounds immediately. My energy crashes went away. I wasn't super hungry all the time, like I was going to kill somebody. Uh, I still did get hungry. And I had a lot more energy. My, uh, the, I, I used to get up in the morning. My feet would hit the floor and there'd be this electricity. That went away. My neuropathy improved, but I still had it. I still had arthritis. Uh, I wasn't as anxious. So it was better. Um, but after several years, and this is kind of what I want to talk about today, I noticed that I was kind of slipping. I was gaining weight and I wasn't feeling as good. I wasn't eating the right things. I was eating, I think I had two pumpkin cheesecakes a week for like a year. I got, I'm so good at making a keto pumpkin cheesecake, you won't believe it. But I would eat fat bombs, I would eat fat pies. So my point is, I never broke my sugar addiction, really, and I wasn't eating enough of the right things. So I started doing more research and I found carnivory. And in, uh, let's see, August of 2018, Consuelo and I went full carnivore, which we eat about, uh, probably about 90% is just straight up meat, um, a locally grown pasture raised, which I will talk about later in another video and uh, some dairy, cheese, and uh, heavy cream only really, and some egg yolks, but not too much of that. And y'all, my neuropathy is gone. And if by chance I happen to eat, <laughs> say two pounds of cheese in a day for some reason, it comes back. I can feel it in my toes. I can feel it stinging me. It's directly related, it, it cured it. Carnivory cures it, and I, I'm gonna stay that way. I also don't have any any uh, arthritis in my neck. My anxiety is pretty much gone. I got a lot more energy and I don't get hungry. Food is not the boss of me anymore. I can go all day. A lot of times we'll only eat once a day. Sometimes we don't eat at all. And sometimes we'll eat one and a half meals a day. And that's about it. So... Oh, and the rash went away too, which I found out. I think it was directly related to the carbohydrates. I'm pretty sure. So, what I want to say to y'all 
women, especially, especially feminist women, we need you with us in our fight. And if you're ruled by sugar in whatever form, whether it's fruits or bread or pasta or candy or sugar, any of those things, they're all sugar and you don't need it. We don't need this. The woman in the caves of Les Cow and put their red hands on the wall. What did they draw? Did they draw corn on the walls? No, they drew those beautiful animals, those ruminants that they ate, that they loved and ate and that kept them healthy. And that's what I want for y'all. It's killing me to see so many members of the lesbian community. We won't even talk about the young vegans because you can get away with a lot when you're young kids. But when you turn 40, 45, 50, I'm in perimenopause, y'all, and I'm losing weight. So, um, and I feel amazing and I'm not on any meds. That's what I want for all of you. So this is for all my lesbian sisters. Forget the veganism, forget the vegetarianism. Read Lear Keith's Vegetarian Myth. Um, read the other books I'm gonna put below. And choose life, you know, I know we eat for comfort. I know being in patriarchy sucks ass. But what's it worth to you? Is it worth having your pasta and you lose an eye or a foot to diabetes? Is it worth the, the cost of it? The cost to, to you and the rest of society? To not have you be a functioning member and have all these medical costs? Is that, is that the way to go through life? For what? A donut? It's not worth it, y'all. Every morning I get up. And Consuelo's the chef in our house. And my God, I eat like a fucking king. Every meal is the best I've ever had. And I want that for all of you. And it's making me crazy because y'all are so addicted, you don't want to give it up. I was the same way, that's how I know. It's still hard even now to like, remember just how how much I wanted it, how the cravings, how, how hard they are to get over. But I promise you, there's another side to this. When you get past it, you're going to look at that stuff. I see people, oh, I bought bagels, oh, I bought candy. And I'm like, oh, that's ooh. like a cat now. That's not, that doesn't register as food to me. <laughs> that is not food that I want to give myself. Because we should care about ourselves, right? We want to take care of ourselves. And I believe this is the best way to do it. So I implore you to do your research. I'll do whatever I can to help. There's so many websites where people have written their stories and there's not a lot of studies yet because um, even when people say they're doing low carb studies, a lot of times what they call low, low carb is actually say 40% carb or all made out of seed oil, shit we would never eat. We don't eat canola oil, right? We eat lard and pasture raised butter. Mm, you know, we don't cook with olive oil or any of that shit. So, so do your research, join us, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye, y'all.